Hello and welcome to the final part of this tutorial. Now, before I create the error page, I would like to demonstrate the following. By the way, I went ahead and implemented the command line runner in this main class and used the user service to create a new admin user. So let me open up the browser and log in as a normal user. So everything seems to work correctly. But then if I type here users, you see that although I'm not an admin, I still have access to this users page and this should not happen. I can even add task. So the reason is that, let me start by stopping the application. In the spring security configuration, we only specify that any other request should be authenticated. We didn't define which user has the permission to access which request. So let's do that now. I'll get rid of this from here. And here I'll add and matches. So anyone trying to access the profile page should either be a user or an admin. So has any role, this one. Either user or admin. And I'll add another one. And matches. So anyone trying to access the users page or add a task must be an admin so let me hit here enter so that we can see whatsoever we're doing here and again here has role this should be an admin so I'll restart the application and back in the browser I'll refresh this page so we're redirected to the login page because the session was destroyed so one two three four five six So now if I try to access the user's page, you see we get here access denied. We cannot access that page. And the status is 403. It is of type forbidden. So we're forbidden from accessing that page. So if I try to access, say a page that does not exist, you see we get a message here, no message available status 404 not fine so we are going to create a custom error page that handles this error so all we need to do is to create a file called error.html in this template folder i'll just copy the index page and rename it to error.html i will open it up and get rid of this and here we can display see the error as well as the status so i will just type here there was an error and i'll add here a span so i'll get the error message I'll just do this like so. Then I'll copy this pan and paste it here for the error code. So I'll just type here status 
and I'll give this a class of text text danger I'll save this and I'll type here please contact so bar media if you have reached this far so once more in the browser I'll navigate to the profile page and try to access users I'm logged in as a normal user and as you see I get the message access is denied the status is 403 forbidden so if I try to access a page that does not exist you see I get 404 not available and on log out here we didn't really test when the user is an admin so let me test that I'll log in as an admin so admin at mail.com one two three four five six and as you see as an admin I get to see the profile as well as the user space so an admin can see all the users and an admin can add task you are indeed a boss thanks so this admin has no tags or maybe yeah we just added this tags to that particular admin dear happy people we have come to the end of this tutorial series so there is always room for correction if there is something that you think can be improved on feel free to contact me you know i'm just a learner maybe like you and if you can also support in any way don't hesitate to do that for the meantime you can keep encouraging me by hitting on the like and the subscribe button so until the next tutorials see you